when I commented on the punk ass video, because I know you motherfuckers is gonna watch this. When I she got that glow, she made her sugar and go. She's my melanin Monroe, she's my melanin Monroe. Fly and she knows that I am feeling her soul. She's my melanin Monroe, my, my melanin Monroe. What's good, YouTube? It's your girl, Melanin Monroe. Another day more YouTube drama. Now, as you can tell by the title of this video, this video is about DDG's sister, DDG's nephew, Woo Wop, and the Real TNK squad. So, recently, DDG uploaded a video where Woo Wop was not behaving, he was misbehaving, and the Real TNK squad decided to give their thoughts and opinions on that situation, where they basically were saying that he needs discipline he needs to not be on camera, and they need to not use him for entertainment purposes. Well, DDG's sister was not having it about her nephew, and she let the real TNK squad have it, y'all. I don't know, y'all. Let's just get into the video. Keep titling these videos the way that you're titling them. Just like you made a video again after that talking about the real TNK squad versus DDG family. You sound stupid as fuck because who what, who, who was it? Who said something? Outside of me, Wu Wop's auntie, his mother Brittany, and my mama. How is it versus anything when you motherfuckers keep deleting comments and shit? Because at this point in time, I feel like you taking this YouTube shit to a whole nother level. Because I have kids. From what I see, you have kids. If I sit down and take time out of my day and I make a video about your children, you tell me what type of response I'm going to get from that. Because you can't expect to make a video about somebody's child, whether you feel like you got a fucking opinion or not. You cannot make a video about somebody's child and not expect for the people who love and care about him to respond about what you said. And the only reason why you haven't got a full-fledged response from my brothers is because they feel like... Y'all are nothing. They feel like if they respond to you, that's bringing attention to your child because they are above you. And that's your problem. Y'all go for people who are above you and they have way more power. That's how you lost your last child because you feel like you're untouchable. So while you sitting in videos trying to be all hard, report the video, don't talk about it, just do it. Don't say you're gonna report it, just report it. What you still talking for? You talking like this shit ain't gonna fuck with your livelihood because clearly you doing this shit solely for money. So why are you talking like you untouchable? You have 9,000 subscribers. I don't give a fuck how many people watch the video that has my brother's name in it. That's the only reason why they clicked on it because it has his name in it and my nephew's name in it. That's it. Beyond that, what are you good for? Who's watching you? The bitch next to you can barely fucking talk. She talking slow as hell and she's sitting there fidgeting around and rubbing on her body and shit. Like, you got a problem. You need to be getting yourself checked out instead of worrying about my nephew. You sitting at a table with fucking gauze and tape on your damn arm. You have a problem. Go get that shit checked out. You're not about to sit here and talk about a three-year-old who can't defend himself, nor will he ever see these punk-ass videos that y'all making. But you can't expect for the grown-ups, you know, the people who y'all claim are not doing their thing like they're supposed to with him. You can't expect us not to say something in reference to what you're doing because what you're doing is fucking wrong, point blank, period. And while you sitting there making a separate video outside of what you made to begin with, you really feel like you took a step in the right direction by fucking trying to talk about my mother and her maturity level. Where's your maturity level at? Because how in the fuck are you going in on a fucking three-year-old? And yes, bitch, I watched the video. I watched it and ain't shit positive come out of your mouth because who are you to talk about anybody's parenting? Put your kid on camera. Put a book in front of them. Let's see how they read. Let's see how they talk. Can they can they speak in complete sentences? Because their mama can't. Their mama can't do it. So let's not go there. Let's not do that because you don't want to go tit for tat 
And let me put this out in the atmosphere since y'all felt like y'all knew so much about me. Y'all felt like y'all could could throw that in there, try to throw shade or whatever. When I commented on the punk ass video, because I know you motherfuckers is gonna watch, commented on your punk ass video, I did not comment in a way where I was saying that I was going to um, put my hands on anybody. When I said this ain't what you want, I said it in a sense of, you gonna try to comfort somebody, but not my motherfucking nephew. This is not what you want, because there's consequences there's going to be a reaction to every fucking stupid action that you get. Meaning, the type of power that DDG has on YouTube and also the considering the 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 nature of your channel and how many how your following is and how many subscribers you have, do you honestly think they can't get your shit shut down? So I said what the fuck I said and I meant it. This is not what you want. Because clearly, them social security checks and disability checks are not adding up enough to pay that rent and the bills that you got going on in that household. So you trying to use somebody's child that you know, people know and love. So you're going to try to turn your cheek and make it into a negative as far as what he's doing. What you see is what the fuck they want you to see. You can't question somebody's parenting based on what you see in a 10 15 minute video you don't know what fucking kids he is around you don't know what he does when the camera is off that is not a stupid child he knows a lot what do your kids do what do they do what do you do when you turn the camera off and you're not talking about nobody I don't know, y'all. Comment down below how you feel. Do you feel like she was out of place? Do you feel like TNK Squad go too far? Do you feel like they should have just let this be a video on DDG's channel? Talking about keep people's kids is kind of tasteless and disrespectful. And I understand where she's coming from because if somebody came for my kids, I'm coming for your neck. I don't understand why they feel like their thoughts and opinions are needed for every single thing that's posted on YouTube. Some things you just gotta let well enough be that's just my opinion that little boy like she said is three years old he can't defend himself and according to the to ddg's family this is for entertainment purposes only apparently when the cameras are off he gets disciplined um he listens to his parents and maybe he's just an all-around good kid like she said we don't know what happens when the camera goes off comment down below how you feel but make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and turn on your post notifications so you can be notified every single time that I upload. Until next time, beautiful people. Peace!